Okay, here we are off on another bike ride. It's the uh, 7th of October. 72 degrees out when I left the house. Really nice autumn day. So oh, anyway, here we go. Oh, here's some more corn harvesting going on. Hey. 
I see ya. Oh damn, I forgot my phone. Ah. And I forgot my cell phone. I guess I'm being stupid. <laughs> I just hope I don't have to call Chris for some reason. Okay. And off we go. <laughs> okay, bicycle, show your stuff. Let's go. Oh yeah, no problem. For the old magic cycle.
I'm helping out a little bit with human power, but most of it is the motor. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it won't be much more riding for this gear. It's nice today, but in a few days it's going to get colder. I think some more rain. And then probably in about a month, month and a half, we're going to be having snow all over the road. good for the uh, water table to get uh, lots of snow and but I wish it just stay up in the mountains the high peaks melt in the springtime to fill the reservoirs one winter in the 2016-2017 winter. I think we had about uh, we had about four feet of snow on the road. The dairy workers that are down a quarter of a mile away from me were constantly getting stuck. They had to get these big tractors out pull them out of the, out of the snow because they were constantly getting stuck and going off the road and made life fun. We didn't have any problem. My wife was driving uh, our Nissan uh, front wheel drive car and uh, seemed to pull through it as long as they kept the road reasonably clear so the snow wasn't too deep they didn't and then she had a problem too but we had a couple of pickups that had a high clearance and with studded snow tires on them so makes a makes a difference I haven't been down this 150 uh, West Road here for quite a while. This place off to the left, I drove a school bus for part of a year and uh, delivered a couple of kids up to this place on the left. A couple of girls, a couple of sisters. One of them had purple hair. So her nickname to me was Purple. I don't think she appreciated me calling her Purple though. <laughs> that was several years ago, my criminy. Those two girls are, what would they be? Probably close to 30 years old now. Does that mean I'm getting old too? Probably. There's a little
I don't know if they're going to come back and try to chop the rest of this corn over here. That there's a fair amount that uh, they weren't able to get for some reason or another. Maybe that uh, pivot was in the road or something. They hadn't moved it. I don't know. Not my problem, as they say. And here's the four mile road, otherwise known right as the here is the it's called the what is it? Uh, West 420 North. And this is one of the brothers for four brothers over here to the right. And the next one up on the right is another brother. Not sure how many people are in that family, but they call it Four Brothers Dairy. One of the brothers died a few years ago, Jerome. I used to talk to him a bit. Oh, here's the canal. Let's see what kind of water we got today. Quite a bit of water. <clears throat> Ugh. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. <laughs> Now here's the Four Brothers Dairy. I don't know if I can get a good shot or not, but look at all these calves. Hundreds of calves. Oh, and here comes the milk truck.
Well, that guy was cutting pretty close to the edge there. Wow. Would not be fun to roll one of those big tanker trucks. They sell their milk to uh, Glanbia. I drove milk truck for a, a very short period of time for Jerome Cheese a bunch of years ago. And some more of these little baby calves over here to the right. Hundreds of them. These are all very young calves. Basically newly born. Well, this is going to be a short ride today. Hay truck, three trailer hay truck. And off to the left is the old Grange Hall. <sighs> when there were lots of family farms around, that was pretty active. Years ago they had dances and stuff in there, but it's all boarded up now. Back on the gravel road, almost to home. Ruddy old gravel road, thick gravel. It's one nice thing about having these four inch flat, fat tires. They can go pretty good on this gravel. If you had a skinny old street uh, bike, you know, with uh, what, one and three quarter inch wide tires. <laughs> it wouldn't do so good on this gravel. Even the mountain bikes with what, what do they have? About two and a half inch. Uh, 
tire or something like that, they would do better, but not as good as these four inchers. And there's my yard full of weeds. I need to take the riding lawnmower and cut them all down. Every time we try to make good yard grass, uh, either don't have enough, uh, it's been a drought or something to keep it from being kept green all the time. Oh well, such it is. Look out, yellow, move. Stupid cat, I'll run you over. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh, we made it. Only went uh, by the magic cycle trip meter. It's uh, 10.1 miles by the exhaust uh, 10.3 and by the Garmin uh, 10.4 oh anyway a little over 10 miles it's one of my shorter rides I usually go uh, much more than that usually closer to 20 and sometimes way more than 20. Well, it looks like my... <clears throat> Look at the dust. Wow. Okay, let's see if it turns this bugger off.